Hey guys, the Black Critic Guy, back with another session of BCG Mail. Now, I'm actually recording this video on Wednesday because this Thursday, apparently, Florida's gonna be fucked in the ass by a hurricane, or, you know, considering that Florida kind of looks like a penis, I guess it's going to be blown by a hurricane. <laughs> oh, thank you, you're too kind, you're too kind. But enough talk, we got nine layers to get through, so we're just gonna get right into it. All the other videos have been way too long, and I'm gonna try my damnedest to keep this one short. Okay, first layer we got here is from uh, Cartrail. Cartrail, I hope I said your name right. I'm opening it right now with no tape. Good job, Cartrail. I'm proud of you. Uh, here we go. Ah, loose leaf paper. Okay, <clears throat> and it goes. Dear Black Critic Guy, my name is Cartrell, I think it's Cartrell, Rail, Tell, yep. Cartrell Payne, I am your biggest fan, and if you could send me some anime DVDs you don't want, please send them to me. Thanks, Cartrell Payne. Well, um, actually all the D anime DVDs I own, I kind of still want to keep. They're actually a part of my background, so I'm sorry I can't really send you any cartrail, but I do appreciate the letter, man. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Moving on to the next letter we got from, uh, Jack. Uh, oh, and this one, oh, this one's from Australia, too. I would show you, but it's, uh, his address, so I don't want to show the address, but it's from Australia. Another international letter. Oh, I'm so excited. What? You know what's funny? Both of the international letters, like, were kind of hit or opened up a bit. I don't know what that, what the deal is with that. Is, is the government checking up on my letters? Are they worried that I might get a bomb or something? All right, let's see what Jackie Boy sent us. <clears throat> to good old BCG, I have really enjoyed your anime review videos and movie review videos, but your top tens your top 10's videos have been my favorite videos on your channel. But I really, really enjoy Bullshit Month. E everybody enjoys Bullshit Month. It is literally my most popular month on my channel, and because of that, it's never going away. And I will always suffer every August, so thank you all for making Bullshit Month such a popular month. Alright. But when I sent out a tweet to you for the first time, I was shocked to see that you liked it and liked and comment, I guess he, you said like twice, liked it and liked and commented on my YouTube video, Top 5 Favorite YouTubers. Ooh, that, might, that was a while back, wasn't it? I do remember watching that video though. Now when I send you a tweet, you always like it, which I'm honored. Oh, well, I'm glad you are honored. But I have a few requests to see you do some anime reviews of these animes. Brothers Conflict, Can- or Chaos- or fuck, I can't talk today. Canon Con, I believe is what it's called, and it has the, kind of like the blank face, like, this is terrible. Emoto ga Iru, I hope that's not an incest anime. Uh, Tokyo Ravens, and Seken- Seken Sukai no World Break. I have not heard of any of these. Well, I've heard of, uh, Ken, 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 Kano, Kano, Kano Con, I believe. I've heard of Kano Con before, but that's about it. Hopefully, I see you do them. Hopefully, I will get to see them. Uh, if you have done these already, I'm sorry that I didn't know about it. No, don't worry, buddy. Haven't heard of any of these animes, never seen them. Oh, by the way, I recorded myself writing this this awesome letter, so you might see this on my YouTube channel. From your subscriber, Jack Heaver, Lever maybe? Jack Lever, AKA McSwaga101. I might have to go check out your channel now and see if you did uh, record yourself writing this. P.S. You have the best review channel I've seen. Thank you so much, McSwaga101. I, I appreciate the kind words and uh, good day to you, mate. All right, time for the next letter. What do we got here? Uh, oh crap, it's another one from Australia. Damn, dude, I'm two for two in this video. I didn't know I had this many Australian fans. It's pretty awesome that I'm getting a lot of love from down under. Let's see. Oh, it, it's from Eugene Finds It, the same guy that sent me a letter last week that I kind of screwed up on because it was hidden and I didn't see it. But regardless, let's open up the letter. And guess what? No tape. No tape this time. Good job. Love it. Love it. Opening it up. Let's read what Eugene has. Oh, God. Wow. This this one's, this one's uh, thick with text. 
<clears throat> Dear Tony, aka Black Critic Guy, Hello, it's Eugene Find It again. I'm writing this letter on as my er, I'm writing this letter as my earlier one has yet to arrive. Sorry if I went on for too long, but I just have so much to talk about now that I can actually send mail. However, this time I'll try to keep it to a page to one page with three topics to talk about. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Number one, I was compelled to watch Green Green. What? Why would you know what? And you know what's funny? I'm actually wearing a green shirt, and you're talking about green green. That's just a two for two right there. Because you and Misty Cornexia claimed it to be the worst anime you've ever seen. Really? Misty Cornexia hated it as much as I did. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Mainly because I wanted to see what anime could top it, top it up as my most hated one. Surprisingly, even though obviously the three morons being the, a main focus was the dumbest idea the anime could make, I was actually willing to watch the whole thing. I mean, I, I watched the whole thing too, unwillingly though. I guess since you watched it willingly, it's different. It wasn't until the last episode when they talked about fate and stuff. Bullshit. It was just because of a stupid protagonist injuring himself that led to that. Yeah, the ending is so stupid and this whole convoluted plot about them coming from the future and that they're supposed to be together. It's, Bullshit, it's stupid. Uh, let's see, what it, but even though it is definitely a bad anime, it earns points for being able to keep me engaged because trust me, I've seen way worse things. Well, I wanna hear about these way worse things that you've seen. Number two, many of the channels I'm subscribed to have helped me find anime that I really enjoyed. In your case, that would be Genkan Shoujo no Zaki-kun. Hey, it's the, this, that's what this picture is based off on. Uh, let's see. It is probably one of my favorites from Doggo Kobu, the animation studio that made it. Uh, however, I'm kind of leaning towards Himonto Umaru-chan as my absolute favorite by them. In Genkan Shoujo no Saki-kun, apart from Chio and Nozaki, the ma- er, I don't like the other side characters. What? The side characters were bomb. I love those guys. Hell, you got you got the male tsundere, and it's like he's chasing after this one girl that is basically kind of like the give no fucks kind of guy that he kind of is in love with. Like I, I like that whole role reversal that the anime had going with it. But I can understand. I can respect that you didn't like the side characters. But I'm glad that those two are the main characters because they are so interesting to watch. And by the way, Chio is so freaking adorable. Yes, yes she is. Just beautiful redhead. So thank you so much. Also, do watch Himo Himoto Umaru-chan. I'm sure you'll love it. Well, I'll put that on my to watch list. So many animes I need to watch. Number three, this is the final one. I know it's still very early, but for Romance Month, here's a suggestion. Nozaki, or no, no, gi, no Gizaka, no Gizaka Haruka, no Himit. Himitsu. I think I have that in my list. Um, I watched. I recently rewatched it because I've forgotten so much of it. I'm glad I did because oh boy, some of the quotes are misleading as shit. No spoilers or anything. Try it. I'm sure you'll have a good time. Oh, at that. Oh, I have that on my list. I'll have to watch that soon. Woo! There's still some. There's still space left to spare. But I'll stop here. I really hope you can reschedule, or yeah, reschedule your let's watch something because our times are so not matching. I'm so sorry. I know you're from a different time zone. Uh, maybe one day I'll try to see if I can tweak it a little bit. Not much goes on here in Perth, which is where he's from in Australia. Is that how you pronounce it? Perth? But I like the peaceful nature of it. Hell, I, lo I would love to live in a peaceful place. I'm tired of the hustle and bustle of cities. Uh, I continue, I'll continue next time. Until then, peace, BCG. Well, thank you, Eugene, for the awesome uh, letter that you wrote and gave me a lot of suggestions and spoke your mind a lot. Thank you so much for that. Moving on, we got one from Maurice. Okay, Maurice. Let's see what you wrote, buddy. God, why do I suck at opening letters, man? Okay, this one's on a loose leaf paper, so it's handwritten. <clears throat> Dear Black Critic Guy, hey, Man, hey man, oh, sorry, it looked like many for some reason. Hey man, I'm w writing. Uh, uh, man, 
So, need to work a little bit on your penmanship next time, buddy. I'm writing from Pennsylvania. I wanted you to know that I enjoy your channel. Here, in my, here are my favorite anime. Ninja Nonsense. Good choice. Oh my goddess. Oh, I see a pattern here. Baka and Tess. Defrag. And School Rumble. So you're big on comedies. You love comedy anime. And hey, those are some of the best comedy anime out there. In fact, I think each and every one of these, except for Oh My Goddess, were on my top 10 favorite anime comedies. Um, and here are, and here are the anime I despise along with you. Diabolic Lovers and Green Green. Wow! Twice in a row we're talking about Green Green in this video. I got two letters for Australia and two mentions of Green Green. Just what I wanted. I hate Green Green and detest those three I'm gonna call the fuckers. He put guys, but I'm gonna save the fuckers. Those three fuckers in it. Sorry for bringing that up. Yeah, you better apologize. But I want you to know that I hate Green Green too. I feel you, bro. Fist, fist bump, bro. Fist bump. Here are some anime I like to review. Rosario plus Vampire, Testament of Sister, New Devil, Sister New Devil, and bl Bludgeon, Bludgeon, I can't really read that one. Um, moving on. I also like to know why you hate Chowder. Aside from those requests, I enjoy your channel, man. From Maurice. Well, thank you, Maurice. Uh, again, kind of work a little bit on your penmanship. It was a little hard to read your letter. I'm not. I'm not trying to call you out or anything or make you feel bad. I just would like to read your letter accurately. So just next time. Um, as for my hatred for Chowder, Chowder was everything that I hated from the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy and Spongebob Squarepants to take a really annoying character and make them nothing more than just annoying an annoying character. Chowder was just an annoying character, an annoying little shit of a kid. And, the, and what's funny is the guy who created Chowder, C.H. Greenblatt, was a prolific writer on both Spongebob Squarepants and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and in both shows, he actually wrote some of the funniest episodes in those series. And it just baffled me that he created a show that had none of the charms from the shows that he wrote for. I was like, that, it, it kind of felt like a dead giveaway. He made a series? Oh man, that must be grade A comedy, but it wasn't. It was just really painful to watch because his characters were just unlikable and annoying. The only character I liked, <laughs> I don't remember what his name is, but he's the guy that goes, rada rada, rada rada, rada rada, rada rada, rada rada. He's basically like Coco, but cooler. Um, but yeah, that's my hatred for Chowder. It just wasn't funny. The main character was annoying. The animation was decent it definitely stood out compared to every other cartoon in that of that time in fact there's this whole thing where um the background or at least the the clothing pattern on the characters would never move but the characters would move and i thought that was really trippy I, it was an interesting uh, artistic style but other than that the show didn't really offer me much of anything so great voice acting though a lot of good voice acting there a lot of um Iconic voice actors voicing characters in that show. All right enough of the rambling moving on to the next lever letter from Gabriel Let's see what G Gabriel has to write <laughs> Look, uh -huh, No tape for now. Oh So your next letter is gonna have tape buddy then I'm not gonna open your next letter You know what? I'm not even gonna open this letter. You know, I'm just gonna let it fall to the ground I'm just gonna move on to the next letter from uh, Jason. Uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll open your letter buddy I'll open your letter, but if you put tape I'm coming for you. Okay, another loose leaf one. Let's see what you got written here. <clears throat> Dear Tony, aka Black Critic Guy, I've been a huge fan of your ch uh, of yours ever since I saw your anime review, Demon King Die Mouth. Wow, dude, that's an old review, man. I did that three years ago. I remember getting a lot of hate for that review too, which I don't understand. That show is so hollow and bland, and it's the pure definition of what a shitty etchy harem anime can be and should not be so um no that didn't sound right it's the pure definition of what a shitty etchy harem anime is you know bland characters with no chemistry and a character so op he gives freaking um the main character from irregular at magic high school room for his money okay let's see uh on your old channel the black anime guy Actually, the Demon King Daima anime review was on this channel, Black Critic Guy. It just is so old, and it was in the same place that I did my old videos 
that I guess you just kind of wrote it off as, oh, that's from the Black Anime Guy. No, no. It was here on the Black Critic Guy. Uh, furthermore, your videos have inspired me. I always make, or it always makes me laugh and cry. Don't ask why. I, I won't ask why, but I, I can't help but be a bit curious as to why the videos make you cry. But I, you told me not to ask, so I will not ask. And it always encourages me to be the best version of myself. Oh, oh, that's, wow, that's, that's really touching, man. Thank you for that. I enjoy watching your videos, especially your rant videos. Who, who doesn't enjoy watching my rant videos? They're the, they're the videos that get the most views any time, like any time of the year. If I put the words rant, it's guaranteed at least 10,000 views before the end of the month. So that's why I always do rant videos. Not only because I enjoy ranting sometimes, but they get me them views and they get me them dough. Okay, both my friends and family gain a great deal of respect. Gained a great deal of respect for you. Re really? You told me. You told your friends and family about me. I'm. If you ever write another letter again, I would love to know what they think about me and how you introduce them to me. That would be an interesting thing to read. Um, you never seem to care what anyone else thinks of you, and that's such an admirable quality. Yes, what can I say, you know, mm, I'm just so awesome. No, I'm just kidding. But when it comes to being in the public eye, you kind of need to have a thick skin. You don't, you can't let other people's opinions dissuade you. So, you know, that's something you got to learn while being on YouTube. If you can't handle criticism and you can't handle mean comments, that's gonna be a problem. You, you might not last too long here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to read my letter and both me and my son Eddie. Oh wow! You're a father! Wow! I hope your son's older than 12 and you're not showing him my rant videos because that's gonna be awkward. My son Eddie, wish you the best, wish best of luck to you in the future. I know great things lie ahead of you. Take care, Tony. Sincerely. Wait, I believe this is the same guy from the first, from the first BCG mail. Gabriel. Same guy. I remember. Sorry. I read so many letters, Gabriel. I apologize, man. I apologize. I will be sending the packages next month. Ooh. 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 Packages, huh? I can't wait for that, man. You, the anticipation is just building up inside me. I want to know what you're sending me now. It better not be a bomb. I swear to God, if I'm like up here and I'm opening it and it explodes in my face, I'm coming for you. You left your address. You left your address right here. All right. Well, dang, I tore, I tore off the address. Damn it. Well, I just gotta have to wait for your package so that I can chase you down. All right, next letter from Jason and what do you know? What do you know? Uh, you, you can't really see it that well, but it's tape. It's tape. In fact, I think caught on tape, literally. Hey, you see it? Caught on tape, literally. <laughs> Fucker. Uh, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Why does why does there numbers here? 14, 10, 114. What? You said? Did you send me money, buddy? Because if you did, that'd be really awesome. You know, I could finally go buy the supplies I need to survive the hurricane. All right, let's see. Uh, we got some cool stuff here. I'm not gonna touch these yet. I want to read the letter first. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, hello, black critic guy. My name is Jason. Or Jason. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jason. I just want to say that you gained a new fan. Oh, yeah! Um, thanks to my best friend Gabriel and his son Eddie. Wait, this is... <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds I would read the letters back to so I read two Australia letters back to back, then I read two letters that talk about Green Green back to back, and now I'm reading a letter from one guy and his friend back to back. I'm, I'm speechless. And I reorganized this letter by, or these letters by the way, based on shape and size, and they still ended up together. That's, I'm, I'm speechless. Let me just get to the letter. Thanks to my best friend Gabriel and his son Eddie, I got into a lot of new anime, and it's all thanks to them watching you on YouTube. Well, that is awesome. Teamwork! High five, Gabriel and Eddie. Yeah, high five. Uh, I, well, we can't really high five. 
There, see, we high five. Cool. All right. Um, to or thanks to you, my best friend Gabriel got into a lot of cool and awesome animes such as Tokyo Ghoul, Elfin Lead, Madoka Magica, and Dust Maiden of Amnesia, and he got me into them. Awesome. Those are really good anime. To wrap up. Or to wrap it up, I just want to say thank you for your sense of humor and your awesome anime reviews. I look forward to watching more of your anime reviews and I wish you the best. P.S. Could you do me a favor for my best friend Gabriel and his son Eddie? Can you say this in one of your videos? Uh, okay. I can do- I- I'll, I'll do that at the end of this video. How about that, buddy? I'll do that at the end of this video, Jason. So, I won't say what he told me to say, but I'll save it to the end. I'll put, I'll put the letter to the side over here. And then when the end comes, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, he also sent me a... This kind of looks like a, Valent a Valentine's Day card of... Kill, uh, not Kill a Kill. Why, why did I think Kill a Kill? Mirai Nikki. Although, I would, I would appreciate a Valentine's Day card like this. It says, I would kill to be by your side. Get it? Because she's a yandere? Uh-huh! Oh, yeah, this is still kind of creepy, though. And this other one is... Um, when they cry. Oh. How appropriate since it is horror month on my channel. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? What, what is this, anyway? Chapters is this from the like a DVD? This is like a poster in like that, that you get when you get when you buy the DVDs or something. Oh, interesting. Thank you, my friend. All right, we got three more letters, guys. Three more, and then we're almost done. Next one is from Eddie. And is this, is this just gonna be a thing? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Of course, you couldn't resist. None of you could. Well, some, some of you did, but. Damn it, I should not have expressed my frustration about the tape. Now, every letter I get is probably gonna get tape on it somehow, but he just couldn't resist. <laughs> thank you. All right, opening up your goddamn letter. Oh, and he also, he colored the bottoms of it. I don't know if you see, he colored, colored the bottoms of it. Just thought, thought All right. Oh, and it's the, he sent me a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now, I'm not going to look at the Yu-Gi-Oh card just yet. I'm going to wait to be surprised. I want to read the letter first. <clears throat> you better not say what the Yu-Gi-Oh card is in the letter, Eddie, because that's going to be fucked. Okay. From, from, to, from Eddie to Tony. Hi, Tony. My name is Eddie Cortez. My daddy gave... <laughs> <laughs> First Gabriel, then his friend Jason, and now his son Eddie. <laughs> did you all just, did you coordinate this? Did you like mentally just make me f put your letters on top of each other? I'm, I'm not even kidding. I reorganized this, these letters and they still ended up together. <laughs> okay. That is so interesting. Anyway, hi Tony, my name is Eddie Cort- or, not gonna, not gonna say his last name. My name is Eddie my daddy Gabriel wrote a letter to you about one or two weeks ago. I was the one that told my daddy to put that big tape on his letter. Thank you. You're such a good son. You're such a good son. Um, we saw your first video of BC Gmail number one. I saw you were having a difficult time opening the letters. My favorite video from you is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice because I totally agree with you that the film was too rushed, there was too many things going on in the film. I also like your anime reviews that I watch. I also like your anime reviews that I watch with my daddy because of you, you're the one you're the one who got me into the anime, like My Bride is a Mermaid, and Baka and Tess, and Is This a Zombie? Oh, another fan of romantic, or, no, well, I guess most of these are romantic comedies, but fan of comedy animes nonetheless. I also want to give you a Japanese card. Upside down, oh, nope. P.S. Sorry for putting the big tape on the letter. We just wanted to see your reaction, and it was totally worth it. Me and my daddy were laughing our butts off. And to answer your question, yes, I'm under, I'm under age. I'm nine years old, but I still love your video. Damn it, Gabriel! Nine years old! I fucking cut. Oh wow! I just cussed right there. Well, okay. Well, a nine-year-old kid watches me cuss online. I'm, uh, don't, no one tell my auntie that a nine-year-old watches me. She's gonna fucking hang me from a from a cross 
and say like 10 Hail Marys and Our Fathers. But thank you, Eddie. I like your penmanship, it's really nice. I like how you spaced your words too. It makes it easier for me to read. So good job, you're one of the best letters I've read, Eddie. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see what card uh, he got me. So ready? Yo, 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 yo. Is this? Oh, I don't, I have no idea which card this is. Uh, for a second there, when I looked through the camera, I thought it was Swords of Revealing Light, but no, nah, this is, what, uh, the, the, the spell of a thousand daggers, I guess? But thank you so much. I appreciate this, Eddie. I really do. And I cannot believe I did your father, then your, your, his best friend, and then you guys all, like, at the, not at the same time, but like, in order. It's crazy to me. I can't fathom it. All right, guys, two more letters. Which one should I do? Uh, okay, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, well, we got our winner, and it's from Ron. Oh, I dropped the other letter. Uh, Ron, let's see what Ron wrote to me. No tape. Good job, Ron. Okay, you already got like five points for me off the bat for no uh, tape. impression man I don't know if this is supposed to be like you trying to say that my videos are shit or that I'm a shitty person but either way yeah. <laughs> just a picture of the man on the toilet frustrated furiously trying to take a shit it's like just get out of my ass already oh! <laughs> okay. I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put this now okay final letter from uh, Caleb Caleb, buddy. Uh, so he wrote here, sorry about the tape, but lift from center. And he put Ezekiel 25, 17, the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the righteous and the tyranny of evil men. Come on. I know that shit. Okay, so he told me to open it from the center, so. Oh, wow. Okay, well that's helpful. Very helpful. Oh, this one's thick too. Oh, okay, we got a drawing, and we got, I guess, two letters? I don't know which one to start with. Um, this one is a big text. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this bad boy. <clears throat> Dear Tony, hey BCG, how is everything going, and, and how, or, and was your day? I'm guessing how was your day? I write this letter to you in hopes that I, sh or it shall share, it shall bring a smile to your face and brighten your day. Well, the fact that you even sent me a letter already brightens up my day, so I appreciate it. Um, and possibly make you forget about any unpleasant movie slash anime you've reviewed. Um, that's never gonna happen. Uh, I have been a fan and subscriber of your channel for three to four years now, and I'll continue to support you in your endeavors. Look around. All right, now that we got the mushy stuff out of the way, let's get down to business. Are we gonna defeat the Huns? Reason why I'm writing to you is so that I may ask you some questions. First things first, I must know, what does... Okay, uh, well played, well played. He says, what does Marcellus look like? He, he looks like a bitch, okay? And I will say that to his fucking face. Secondly, enclosed in this letter are special documents for your eyes only, when reading or viewing said documents, pray that they doesn't fall into enemy hands. Well, it's too bad, buddy. I have to show them what the documents are. That's what the videos are for, dude. Sorry, so they might just fall into the wrong hands. Maybe Ryan will steal them. Uh, move, 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 move. Obtaining these documents wasn't easy. My partner and I literally had to go through hell and back to retrieve them. Oh, damn. That would be an interesting story to hear. Along with the price he paid to get this message, he instructed me to hide but or to hide several clues inside this letter in regards to the link between this 
this message. Wow, this is intricate. Your favorite story and your favorite actor, you must, you, you just got to know where to look. Although, I'm not really concerned for my partner, even though he may be dead. Hehe. <laughs> Oddly enough, his name is Zed. Oh, all these pop, all these pulp fiction references, man. I'm sure you're surprised by all this, and in response, I ask you, nay, dare you, to say, what? One more time. Okay, so he basically, he's just, he's doing a bunch of, um, Pulp Fiction things. One more, one more time. See if you don't need a divine intervention. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. I hope you enjoyed a little tangent, the little tangent I went on. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it with, I enjoyed it with great vengeance and furious anger. In all seriousness, Tony, I hope you are doing well because I know what two jobs, fatigue, and the responsibility of your YouTube channel can do to you. You're, hope you're sleeping well and eating right. Uh, that's no to both of those things, but don't worry. I promise I'll try to get back on track. Uh, if, you need, if you need to take a breather from time to time, I would not be offended or mad at you for doing so, for I know what it's like being burnt out, and I don't want to see you like that. I do too, I understand, but... To, in order to survive on YouTube, you need to stay relevant, and you need to continuously make content. Now, there will be days where I might say, I'm not gonna do a video, but more or less, I gotta at least release one video a week, you know, to stay up and about. Uh, I don't wanna fade into obscurity as the black unknown guy now. Uh, let's see, da -da -da -da. take a breather. If you need a friend or someone to talk to, I'll always be close by. Are you, are you in this house right now? Uh, that's kind of creepy, buddy. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. With that said, I want to see if you remember me before I ask. Excuse me. Before I ask my actual questions. Here's a hint to guess which of your subscribers I am. Well, I did go toe to toe with Joe and Cla I know you're Dragon Slayer, dude. I didn't forget about you, Dragon Slayer. The minute I saw your name, Caleb, I remember who you are. You're Dragon Slayer, and you did go head to head with Joe. Oh god, more, 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 okay. If that doesn't ring a bell, I believe we've coined the hashtag from which we use to not only trigger, but troll Joe. Lastly, I was the only one to wear the hat in the episode. Anyways, Tony, I've come to respect you as a critic of movies and anime. There are some things that we may or may not agree on, but that's the beauty of being a critic. It is. You have your own opinion, you use it, and you learn from it, or you learn from others as well as you do for you, or you do yourself, or you do yourself, yep. No matter how bad things get, you stick to your guns, not backing down. That being said, I don't want, or I don't what I was, I, I guess I don't know what I was thinking watching and reviewing not only Green Green, but also Akisora. You watch that? Ooh! Well, at least it was only three episodes, so you don't have to watch it anymore. It's funny because I reviewed Akisora first and thought it had potential, but what the hell was I thinking watching Green Green? Another Green Green! I just, I totally did not even notice that until now. Three Green Green references in this video. Three! <laughs> Uh, if you want to see me go on a rant, go check out my channel. I apologize if I ramble a bit. Let me get straight to the questions. Number one, do you still plan on reviewing an the anime movie Garden of Words? Little heads up, it's made by the same director who made fi 5 centimeters per second. I don't plan to review that. I've seen it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a, it's a really touching story. It's kind of a nice romance story, honestly. And it had a good ending to it. Number two, since you've reviewed the anime Kuroko no Basket, how about you review the anime series Haikyo? The It's a sports anime on volleyball and I believe it's about to get its third season. Damn it, dude, that's so many seasons. I don't think I have the time to dedicate three seasons to a sports anime again like I did with Kuroko. I got lucky with Kuroko. Lastly, I know you've always you're always busy with work and whatnot, but regards to the food for thought question I asked a while back, why not try to have an anime discussion somewhat similar to the Three Wise Men, but in a way that gets the BCG, or I'm guessing he means the BCC, the Black Critic Crew, shout out to John IB, where are you? Uh, as a whole involved in their ideas and opinions on movies and anime. You can call it whatever you want, and if you like this idea, please don't hesitate to respond. That's not a bad idea. I've been trying to find ways to include my subscribers into more things, and that might be a good way to do so. 
You're doing a great job, Tony. I just want you to know that, I just want you to know that. I want to leave you with some advice before I go. When it comes to your puns, whether good or bad, don't force them. I don't give a fuck. I'll do puns whenever I want. I did a pun at the beginning of this video. No, you're never gonna stop me from doing puns, buddy. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. It's okay to make, it's okay if you make a pun, if it's good, if it's good, move on, and if it's not, or if it's bad, don't worry, smile and keep the show of flowing. Well, it's a running gag that whenever I make a pun, I go, get it because of, oh my god. I just felt like that was just a running gag now because I did it more than once. So I said, okay, whenever I say a pun, I'm always going to be like, get it because it's a, oh my god, it never ends. Although I will say, the one I did at the beginning, I didn't do the, oh my god. I just wanted to do the whole little bit with a, did it. But okay, moving on. Most importantly, never regret a pun, for they are great things, but be careful for with great puns come great responsibility. The last advice I'll leave you with is that keeping track of a creative slash critical mind is a hard thing to accomplish. I know you use notebook and that's good in all, but I want you to use the reminder. Notebook and voice memo uh, apps on your phone if you have them. That way if there is if there is ever a time when inspiration strikes, I don't want you to forget it, but keep the paper notebook as a backup source to write write it in for safety measures. Thank you for taking the time to read this sincerely and he signed it. And see, I knew it, Dragon Slayer. You can't trick me, man. PS, don't worry about don't worry about trying to pronounce my last name. I'm sure you'll get it wrong like everyone else. Well, I don't really say people's last names here so that people don't like go and stalk these people. Um, also, I've sent you some fan art and a copy of one of my poems. I know how much you like poetry. Oh, wow, awesome. Be sure to read both sides of the fan art once you get it. Once again, thank you. Thanks again for the laughter. Well, thanks again for the letters and the fish. All right, he said he sent me some fan art, and I'm guessing this is the poem, and this is the fan art. Let's see, opening it up, and we got uh, a Captain America hand. Look at that, bro, awesome. Let's give a big hand to the Black Critic guy. <laughs> oh, so funny, so funny. See, I'm clapping my hands with your paper hand. <laughs> Move it on. Okay, uh, Joe, May, this glove be a symbol for those who have the strength to stand hand to hand, the courage to stand tall in the face of adversity, the heart to love one's enemies, and the wisdom to teach others. That just sounds like a quote from somebody. Hmm. You're gonna have to tell me where you got that from, Caleb. I'm very curious. Unless you came up with that yourself, in which case, well said, dude. Well said. All right, let's read his uh, lovely poem now. <clears throat> this is from Caleb called The Sea of Time. As the, uh, so let me, let me put on my, my awesome voice. <clears throat> As the waves crash along the shore, washing away the sand with every ebb, ebb and flow, the old maid knew, washed by time, refreshed by the loving sea, yet yielding its treasures for all those to dream. All the while, with ever-passing hour, the tide surges on, cleansing the coast, shaping and defining the jagged nature it once embraced. As the waves reached for the shore, it fades away the footprints in the sun-stricken sand. With the tide receding, it loving reveals the clean canvas refreshed by its sea. The tide rolls on and things may change, but the coast always embraces the ever-flowing nature of time. September 26, 2016, by Caleb. Well said. Sorry I messed up with the reading of it, though. But uh, that was the last letter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry that this one was another long one. I mean, everyone had so much to say, so I just kind of had to get right through them. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I hopefully will have a review coming out later on today, depending on if I can get it done. And hopefully the storm passes on. If I don't get back to you guys as soon as possible, that's because the storm probably hit and I have no power whatsoever. So uh, send me some prayers and maybe even some more letters to this P.O. box right here. I await to see that package, by the way, Gabriel. Stop teasing me so much. And as always, guys, if you'd like to see more videos on this channel and be a part of the Black Critic Crew, please 
hit that subscribe button below, like this video if you really enjoyed it. I'm Toto Wild II, reading your letters as a black critic guy. Till then, peace, Gabriel and Eddie.